In this short video, we will show you something most people don't realize about what causes us to trip and fall and how to avoid this dangerous hazard. Slips, trips, and falls constitute the majority of general industry accidents and result in back injuries, strains and sprains, contusions, and fractures. A trip happens when your foot or lower leg hits an object and stops, but your upper body continues moving, resulting in loss of balance. But first, let's understand one very important thing that we all have in common. Can you tell what it is? When a person takes a step, their foot comes off the ground about half an inch before it steps back down again. Therefore, anything that sticks up a half inch or more can cause you to trip, and then your momentum can cause you to fall. If you're lucky, you'll walk away with a few bumps and bruises, but for the not so lucky, falls result in 15% of all accidental deaths and are second only to motor vehicles as a cause of fatalities. What did you trip over the last time you fell? People tend to trip over things that we see all the time but don't normally notice. Things like a slightly curled up edge of a carpet or mat, extension cords, uneven walking surfaces like cracks in sidewalks or other walking surfaces. Thresholds in doorways, tools, even those cute little pets snoozing in doorways cause hundreds of falls every day. Can you spot the trip hazards in this photo? Here's one where the surface changes elevation about an inch and another change in elevation. Would you see this one? And two more changes in elevation, each more than half an inch. Anywhere you see a crack in a walking surface lurks a potential trip hazard. This is a joint in the sidewalk. Hard to see, but the difference here is almost three quarters of an inch, more than enough to cause a fall. But can you see the other hazard? Here, almost invisible, but the crack should be enough to warn you. The elevation here changes only slightly, but enough to cause a hazard. We can get so used to hazards we forget they're there. This one was painted yellow, but it's been scuffed over so many times it's getting harder to see. A common type of hazard is any area where one type of walking surface ends and another begins, like where carpeting meets tile, or the edge of a parking lot. Sharp, unexpected changes in elevation are particularly dangerous. This one's much bigger than half an inch. A warning could save a terrible injury or even a life, maybe your own. A simple door threshold sticks up enough to trip anyone walking in or out. Hazards hide in plain sight, especially if the lighting is bad or if we are doing something that blocks our vision. Pay attention. If you're walking and texting, reading, daydreaming, or doing anything other than not paying attention to where your feet are going, you might as well be walking blindfolded because your eyes are not working for you, they're distracted. You can avoid injury because tripping and falling is preventable. Keep in mind that it's the little things we don't normally look for that can hurt us the most. As you're walking today, how many trip hazards can you spot? At work, at home, in the parking lot, or wherever you go. Remember, it only takes half an inch to change your day for the worse. Use your eyes and be aware of those little trip hazards as you walk. Thanks for watching and have a safe day.